So we're going to have a conversation about our awkward weave years. But uh, I, I sound really gross right now because I'm currently recovering from a cold. Again. So. I wouldn't know because every time I meet you, you sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> so are there are there any notable moments in your, you know, when you're in like middle school, maybe you've just discovered anime. No, dude, my whole life. I don't know, man. I'm, mm. I'm I'm a closet weave my whole life, so I don't. But think you must I'm... have some awkward stories, right? Of like self discovery and, and going through it, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, you've yeah, been I, to I, anime cons in yeah, Maine. I got a little bit. I got a little bit. Yeah, but then I would roast like all the weeaboos. You know, that's not good because then they're gonna come and attack me. So we're one of them. We? What do you mean? We're we're roasting ourselves. <laughs> I know, but I'm I'm a closet <laughs> weave. You don't right, understand. <laughs> well, you think you're better than them just because you repress these emotions? Yes. All right, you want to know why why I'm scarred for life? You know, I had, you know, I used to show my weepiness, but then there, something happened, dude, okay? It was- Okay. This sounds like a super villain arc story. <laughs> <laughs> something I'm, happened. Something happened. <laughs> Did the Fire Nation attack? Is that what happened? So, <laughs> so you know, I was, I'm, you know, I was just a happy dude with, with drawing, you know, I'm with drawing and stuff. So- I'm drawing my my favorite boy Marth from Fire Emblem, but the thing is, Fire Emblem wasn't popular at the time, like because I I was such a hardcore fan about like the Japanese game on eBay. Okay, oh, so okay. I was drawing Marth, uh, you know, anime, and this kid saw me draw, and he looked at it, and then he screamed at the whole classroom, "This kid's drawing Yu-Gi-Oh! This kid's drawing Yu-Gi-Oh!" And I was I was scarred for life. I was embarrassed. I was scarred for life. I wanted to die, <laughs> and, like, ever since then, I've never, ever, ever drawn anime in school. Like, I was, I draw it outside <laughs> school. I draw a cartoon. I draw a cartoon because drawing cartoons is cool. Okay, back in the day, listen, listen, back in the day, liking anime is the worst thing you could ever do. Like, back in the day. That's true. That's it's true. terrible. True. Like, yeah. now you can get away with it. Like, like, oh, I'm a Boku no Hero fan. You can get away with that. Back then, even if you watch Dragon Ball Z, you'll get made fun of. You're dead, dude. You're dead. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like, nowadays, you say you watch Dragon Ball Z. You're cool, man. You're cool, dude. I'm telling you. Wow, you sound really emotionally hurt. By I me. am. I'm a dude. You're you're in class like drawing like Peter Griffin from Family Guy, and you're like, <laughs> this, this isn't the true me, dude. That's how. You, yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, that's how I felt. <laughs> that's how I felt. I was like, I want to draw anime titties, dude. Come on. I remember One Piece had just started airing in the UK, and I remember like Wait, the I four learned... kids version. The four kids gotta go find yeah. one piece. <laughs> I was okay, okay. This is the worst part, right? It has to do with that. I actually loved the show so much that I learned the rap, right? Oh and no! Then... <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> so like, my I I. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. So my friends were like because uh, they were all into the uh pokemon and they didn't really care about one piece but at the time i thought it was really cool when it just started airing and i thought i was really cool you know because you know it's just that <laughs> you know i'm up with the new shows right mm -hmm. and then i the first time i was like yeah it's the one with the rap and they were like oh how does it go and i started doing it and then they were like Oh, can you do it again? And I kept doing it. I must have done it like three times that I realized they were taking like they were making fun of me. Making fun I hate when they do it. They were making fun I hate of me. When they do that, they I, pretend I performed the, the rap. I performed the rap fully, like three no. times for them. And then they were like, do it again. And my dumb ass didn't realize that no. they were like <laughs> they were mocking me. Oh, I hate that. And then I and then I think that's why I hate One Piece now, because I think I was scarred. Because I was like, I don't want to watch it no more. I don't I don't like One Piece. <laughs> we're all scarred, dude. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> dude, I hate it when yeah. they make fun of you by like pretending to be your friend, dude. It's the fucking that's worst, the worst dude. way. It's the fucking worst, dude. <laughs> so in sixth grade, I was really obsessed with Naruto. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> but I was really into Naruto, and you know how like when you're young and you have like this strong interest, you're like desperate to find other people who also have that same interest, oh, oh, right? No. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Naruto. So one. I would story like this. and. Listen, I went to, like, kind of a small school where, like, everyone pretty much knows each other. And everyone, for the most part, is, like, pretty normie. I don't mean that mm. in, like, a derogatory way. It's just everyone kind of had similar interests, I think. 
I was like, I need to find other people who, like, I can also discuss this show with. So I would literally, for, like, a whole week, I walked up to, like, every single person in my grade and was like, hey, do you watch Naruto? And I did that so many times that, like, people just knew me as, like, that weird girl who keeps asking everyone if they watch Naruto. <laughs> They're like, oh, no, here she comes again. No, everyone <laughs> act normal. <laughs> I, I remember in like my sixth grade art class, we had this like art project where you had to do this like Jackson Pollock color splash collage thing. And the collage part was she wanted us to cut out pictures of things that like we enjoyed and like paste them onto the <laughs> art piece. And I just printed out pictures of Naruto characters. Is it just like Sasuke being choked? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't think I would be friends with you if we met. Yeah, school. yeah. What you wouldn't have? All right, so you know. I got an iPod shovel. I used to download anime songs off LimeWire, and that's, like, the only thing I would listen to. But I knew that, like, you know, listening to anime music wasn't cool. So I was on the bus, and and this, like, kid that's, like, a couple grades older than me, you know, he's clearly, you know, there to to make fun of me. So he sits next to me, and he goes... Hey, what kind of li- what kind of music you listening to? What are you, what are you listening to right now? And I lied. I, I did a cold hard lie. I said, "This is even worse." By the way, I said, "Simple Plan." <laughs> what? And, and that's even worse than what, listening to anime. What are you trying to What are you trying to say about Simple Plan, <laughs> dude? I, I like Simple Plan. I know you could have gone for like a super safe answer, like uh, I'm listening to Nirvana or I'm listening to Linkin Park. That's the first thing that popped in my head. Simple plan. Because all I did was listen to Japanese music, you know? But the first thing that came to mind was Simple Plan? Not any of the other extremely famous, iconic artists of that time? Oh, Alright, Clumsy Emily, here we go again. Wait, right, no, hold on. I spilled my tea! <gasps> you want to Wait. Brew an- Are you gonna brew a new one? Let me clean up my floor really quick. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back, hang on. Hey, Dallas, we can do whatever we want, and Emily won't know. <coughs> what do you want me to do? Boys locker room. <laughs> Who's your favorite wife? <laughs> Who's my favorite wife? Who's your favorite wife? Dude, I'm I'm so basic. I love I love uh, Ram, like from Rezero. Really Dude, basic. wait, that is super basic. That's like the no, most. That, basic. I know that is yeah. That is like the white bread of waifus. I know it is, but I I would die for her. Like no questions asked. I mean, mine's basic too. Mine's like super basic Who? too. It's Asuka. Oh, from uh, even Galleon. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's that's like a that's like a fine wine choice, you know. It's like all right. Uh, you call me nice. old, bro. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> dude, true. You got the you're, you're the new gen. Do you like that? You like that rim, dude. Okay, I'm back. Hello, Emily. All right, this is going to be in my teenage years, and it's arguably my most embarrassing phase as an anime fan, I think. When I first got into anime, like, really got into it, I was, like, 16. But I knew that in school, like, if I... Because people gave me shit for gaming, right? So I was like, dude, if I tell them that I like this show where, like, her titties are, like, jumping around and stuff, like, I'm going to get destroyed socially. Yeah. I'm not... I'm, right. I'm already not doing too great in the league of social ladders, <laughs> so I don't need this on my record. So, I, you know, I resulted to what any good weeaboo would finding friends online to talk about anime with and so Mm -hmm. began like the most embarrassing phase of my life where i would try and make friends on osu like who does that oh hell yeah dude (laughs) i would go on osu like lobbies and just try and talk to people and i must have come off like way too keen because like no one wanted to talk to me so like i made friends on gaia online yeah you're supposed to play maple story and gaia online and stuff like that i didn't know gaia was a thing no one told me I, I was playing like songs I fucking hated. I must have played. What is it? What's the song called? Tokyo Teddy Bear. Is that what it's called? That is ingrained in my memory because I must have done that Osu track like five hundred times trying to make friends in that lobby. Oh my because God. no one, I had no one to talk to about anime, right? That's so, and so sad. That's so sad, but cute at the same. time. No, I know, right? This this is weirdo stories though. They are. Sad. That's adorable, dude. That's adorable. So. So then it, I couldn't get friends on Osu because every time I, I would try and talk to someone, I think I was way too happy because I was like, oh my God, there's a friend, right? So I would think I would scare them off. Um, and so then I tried like making friends on my anime list. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I saw that people would like comment on each other's walls. So People do that? Yeah, they did. They did. This was like a big thing. And there was this German girl who I had like a back and forth with. And I think I must have like been too keen in messaging because I think I scared her off. 
And so then I just realized that I'm terrible at making friends online. And then I, then I had no friends in the end. And I resulted to just, you know, not having any friends. So we would have been good friends. We would have. We would have eventually when I realized how lonely I was. <laughs> You're like nothing else. I guess I'll Yeah, I, there's no one else. Yeah, I guess I'll, I guess I'll talk to Naruto about with Emily. Do you guys remember the first time you ever came across? Are you trying to get your video demonetized? Hello? Wait, I shouldn't say that word, huh? Adult anime cartoons. Oh, no. It, does that work? Okay, well, we're not going to get too into it, but I just, this funny, this story came to my head and I thought it was funny. Okay, okay, okay. As long as I don't have to explain my story, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> You're going to get demonetized. It's not good. I made sure to check both websites before we started this call, and neither of them exist, so I feel like it's okay for me to, like, say what the domain used to be back in, like, the 2000s. Okay. I This was also in middle school, like, sixth grade. <laughs> yeah. Dark times for, for, for little Emily. Dude, everybody who's in sixth grade, look out. So I used to watch a bunch of anime episodes on the site called animefever.org. Oh, yeah, I think I, I remember it. that. I know. It. Wait, do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I, I used to watch it with my childhood best friend, Carmen, and she was really into Black Hat at the time. So we'd watch like Black Hat episodes. And like every day when we came home from school, we would go onto her computer, type in animefever.org and like binge a whole bunch of anime, right? Oh, you know, no. wholesome oh, bestie no. time. So uh, one day her like little brother is home and he is a few years younger than her but we were like hey do you want to watch anime with us and he was like yeah i'm down and so we get on the computer and we type in dot com instead of dot org <laughs> guess what anime fever dot com was i remember we hit enter and the whole screen was just covered in like like Ads, anime like titties yeah. <laughs> it was it was just like the it was so explicit and i remember we all like collectively screamed and like closed the window that was my first exposure to um that really sort of sixth grade anime content yeah okay listen listen i, w I wasn't a dirty little kid like you were ditus <laughs> what about you what what about me no. we don't go there <laughs> we don't go we don't go we don't go there <laughs> You're trying to you're trying to get paid, Emily. All right, all right. Okay, so this is in college, like freshman freshman year. And, oh um, wow! All right. So every day I'd get lunch and then go straight back to my dorms just to watch two episodes of Naruto before I have to go back to class. And this this kid in my hallway, he, he's like that. Uh, this guy is a. D That's all I'm saying. Okay, he's he's a bully. Right. He's a dick. That is long story, short story. He's a dick. Okay, he comes into my room while I'm watching Naruto, and he catches me watching Shippuden. He's like, "Wow, you fucking loser! You're watching Naruto. Like, how old are you? Like, blah blah blah. You know, like all the distance you can do. You're like, you're watching Naruto. You're in college. Like, how pathetic. Okay. Yeah. Cra the crazy part is, okay. Next week, I went into his room. And he was watching Dragon Ball Z. And I was like, you made fun of me for watching the room. You're watching Dragon Ball Z right here, dude. Like, stop, dude. That pissed me off, dude. I was so mad. I was like, come on. You can't just roast me and then watch Dragon Ball Z in secret, dude. <laughs> okay, listen. Listen. He was the real closet. He's lead. a real closet. Yeah. This is when I was 18, I think, was my first convention. I just turned 18. It was like my very first convention. And I just remember, I think it would, it dawned on me that I was like, huh, I don't really like the people I'm with. And this is just not fun, huh? And then the person I'm with was like, oh, yo, this person, this person's like checking you out. And I'm like, who, where? That's a lie. This is 18 year old me. I do not look at all attractive. That's a lie, dude. 18 year old me is extremely awkward. So I'm sure there's like 15 year olds out there listening to this being like, oh shit, I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty smooth. You're not smooth. It's a lie. You think you are. It's not true. So I went up and spoke to her and I was like, uh, hey, um, how are you doing? And they were like, who are you? And I was like, oh, um, I'm, I'm Connor. Nice to meet you. And it was just the most awkward 10 seconds of my life where I thought this was going to go really smoothly and that she was just going to want to kiss me or something because that's how it goes, right? In the movies but no she just, she literally said who are you to me and i'm like oh god what have i done and then i never approached a girl ever again <laughs> 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 now i'm 
now, now that I realize I'm telling my stories, I just realize they're more sad than embarrassing. But it's <laughs> we need a good balance, dude. That's all good. I remember my very first anime convention experience. I was 14. And you know what? I, at the time, I totally embraced that like super awkward weeb girl aesthetic. I had the pigtails with the cat ears oh and God, the orange school me, dude. host club. Honey Senpai Bunny, you know, no, the whole, dude. The whole thing. Actually, you know what? what? <laughs> no, <laughs> dude. I don't want to listen to this. I was one of those kids who had those free hug signs, you know. I remember we attended the, the anime con rave. I went with a friend and like, you know, we, we, we did all the cringy stuff. We did the caramel dancing. Don't come for me. That's not, I did that too, man. That's not cringy. Get out of here. Dude. You're, <laughs> you're at anime con, dude. You can be cringy all you want, dude. Don't even. I, don't I, even I, I, dis- I disagree. I disagree. What? <laughs> so at this, at this rave, there was this like older dude who was also in cosplay. Oh, no. And he, he had a friend and he came up to me and he was like, hey, can I take a picture with you? This was the day where I was dressed in like cat ears and like pigtails and like the whole shebang, right? Okay. And he was like, can I take a picture with you? And I was like, uh, yeah, sure. Why not? And so we took a picture. It was just a normal picture. And then like, I didn't talk to him for like the rest of the day. It was just like, we just went, a- went about the day with my friend. So after the con ends, I get a friend request on Facebook. Ew. And I, I'm like, I don't know who this person is. Who is it? And I click on them, and their profile picture is the picture that he took with me at the convention. Oh, he stalked you online, and then he, oh! All right, you know what the wild part is? He was, like, in his early 20s at the time, and I was 14. Wait, did she, but did oh, she geez. know how old you were? He? He, like, didn't believe I was 14, and <laughs> he was like, wait, I thought you were 18, and I'm like, I had pigtails! <laughs> and a free hug sign. No one over the age of 18 <laughs> has free hugs. Like, I look very much 14. So, this is a PSA for all all those, like, super young Kongoers. You need to be careful for, like, older people who, like, might be creeping on you. Yeah. Unless you're as ugly as I was when I was that young, <laughs> at which point, no one, not even... Stop! Kong's <laughs> <laughs> being humble, dude. He's, he's hot. He's hot as molasses, dude. I, no, no, no. I'm telling you, I I could not have been worse. And when I think back to stuff I said and did, thinking I was being smooth, I want to I want to end it all, you know. But listen, you got you got a mad glow up though. Listen, we saw those we saw those pics. Don't even try to down don't oh, try to like, downplay okay. it. This, uh, this is the first point in my life where I've ever felt like I could be like, yeah, I think I look good. But like when I was in teenage years, man, that was rough, dude. Man. Also, Titus, why are you talking smack about about anime club, huh? What's wrong with anime clubs? Anime anime club in, in high school? Okay, listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> I I don't you know I I let people do their things you know like they can do their things but like <laughs> like people in anime club they're a little too extreme for me you know one one bad apple will like make the whole group look bad what, what happened to you what happened to you Titus? <laughs> what that's anime club in a nutshell it just you? takes one it just makes one extreme weeb doing extremely embarrassing things to make the whole like club look bad okay i had a, i think i had a quite a different anime club experience all right, all right, all right, all right. say what you want about anime club so, you know yeah it's true some people don't know their boundaries and it can get a little much and a little bit overwhelming you know but when I when I first moved to California, the first group of people to like make me feel welcome in my new school was the anime club. Yeah, and, yeah, California, where all the Asians are, and yeah, okay, where yeah. the biggest state with a million people in your school. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I I literally I got the smallest school. Okay. Yeah, you just wanted to flex on us that you had somewhere to turn to, that you had friends. Emily, is that what you're trying to brag about? I won't stand for it, Emily. <laughs> I'm just defending the existence of anime clubs. <laughs> oh wait, I just remembered something out of nowhere. Oh, there, what? There was one time where my mom rented. She knew I was into anime, and she rented right. she rented something from the library, like an anime show. And she she gave it to me, and she's like, "Here, Didus, you can watch this." And uh, I look at the cover, and it's this girl like half naked in bondage and like with a whip. I I forgot what anime 
I forgot oh what I forgot what anime it was called. She like didn't read on like on the cover. It it said like seventeen and up, right? And I was like thirteen. Well, like, did you basically. watch it? No. Okay. So this is what happened. Like I was such a good boy that I was like I I caught her. I was I was like Ma, this is this is a <laughs> sorry. I got burp. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like I was like Ma. This this is inappropriate for me. It's a seventeen and up, and then my mom just laughs. She's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so embarrassed." <laughs> Dude, Dinah Di- Di- is one of those annoying ass kids in class who were like, "You forgot to collect the home." No. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I did that once. I I hate, I hate myself. I'm calling bull. No way did you do that. No, I've never heard a, 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 a 13 year old kid go. No, no, mother, this is too inappropriate for my age. You see, it says seventeen. I love how your mom, like, looked at the cover of this, like, very raunchy DVD and was like, yep, Dinos is like this. <laughs> you know you know what your, like, your mom's, like, anime cover mishap reminds me of? You. Do you? Okay, so you know how all Ghibli kind of have the same art style, pretty much? Yeah. Like, it's pretty recognizable. It's very distinct yeah, art style. Indeed. Um, But the Ghibli films also come in, like, a range of, what, what's the word? Ra- ratings? So I loved to go to my local library when I was a kid, and I would pick out movies from the like display that they had. And I remember the very first Ghibli film I ever watched was Kiki's Delivery Service. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But I picked it out, and I watched it, and I loved it! And you know, Kiki's Delivery Service, it's like really easy for kids to understand. It's sort of a more like mm, yeah. child-friendly title. Anyways, I thought to myself, I want to find, like, other movies in this exact style. Uh, so I picked out Princess Mononoke. Oh, heck yeah, boy! <laughs> Let's go! But <laughs> keep in mind, I'm, like, six years old. So I'm, like, and, like, my parents watched Kiki's Delivery Service with me. and like, Oh, they no, they watched it with, it with you? No! So we, we pop it in. I, I remember the moment they turned it off was when Ashitaka gets shot in the chest. And then they turned it off and they are like, we can't watch this anymore. And I remember being like really disappointed because I'm like, wait, I wanted to watch it. So I couldn't watch it again until maybe high school. Connor and Zaitis, thank you so much for being a part of this video with me. Also, this video is sponsored by Raycon. Oh my god. I can't, I can't put in the, I have to put in the plug later. Hey, guess what? It's later! This video was sponsored by... Raycon! If you're looking for good quality wireless earbuds for about half the price of other premium wireless earbuds, you should check out Raycon! For me personally, I like using them for when I want to go to the gym and listen to music. But guess what? All the gyms are closed and I need to focus on socially distancing myself from the outside world. And you should too! Luckily, these earbuds come in handy for at-home activities too. I like using them when I'm doing the dishes, doing laundry, or when I'm on the computer, which is where I've been spending most of my time lately. Raycon's latest model, the Everyday E25s, has seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, six hours of playtime, and a compact design that gives you a nice, noise-isolating fit. It also comes in a new variety of colors. Click the link in the description below to get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash emerichu. Thank you again to Raycon for sponsoring this video. This is easily the most embarrassing thing I've ever done, by the way. Dreaming, don't give it up, Luffy. Dreaming, don't give it up, Zolo. Dreaming, don't give it up. Nah, man, dreaming, don't give it up. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. No! Here's how the story goes, you find out about a treasure in the Grand Line, there's no doubt. The pirate whose eyes on it, he'll sing, I'll be king of the pirates, I'm gonna be king! Yeah yo, yeah yo, yeah yo, ho ho, his name is Luffy, that's Monkey D. Luffy, gonna be king of the pirates. He's made of rubber, how did that happen? Yo ho ho, he took a bite of gum gum, yeah yo, yeah yo. His name's Zolo, he's just like a samurai and an L-A-D-A-Y, now he's not shy. Usopp's doing that marksman thing. Sanji's cooking. Chopper's doctoring. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Ho, ho. Set sail for One Piece. It's the name of the treasure in the Grand Line. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Set sail for One Piece.